Okay, we talked about uh, the definition of a function. We said that for every x value there can only be one y value and that's it. Now let's look at some kind of visual representations of that to hopefully give you a better idea of what we're talking about. So here we have two um, sort of pictures. One of these is a function, but one of them is not. So let's see if we can figure out um, which one of these is a function and which one is not. For our first uh, picture here, we have some calories of sandwiches, and then we also have the fat grams. So let's look at each one of these. Now our first set we're going to just kind of call x for the time being, and our second set we can say is our y. So we look at this, our first sandwich here, the Wendy's Single, has 19 fat grams. These two things are related. Our second sandwich looks like has 29 fat grams. Our third sandwich has 24 fat grams. The next sandwich looks like has 23. The next one has 33. And the last one has 23 grams of fat. Did you notice that for each one of these sandwiches, each one of them only was paired with a particular fat grams? This is actually a function. Now remember, our function definition said for every x value, there can only be one y value. Now just think about that. In order for this to not be a function, we would have to have a sandwich with two different fat grams. That doesn't make any logical sense, does it? Absolutely not. Now because this is a function, this first set we actually call the domain, and the second set we actually call the range. So if we were listing out our domain here, it would be the Wendy's Single 410, the Wendy's Big Bacon Classic 480, and so on and so forth. The range we would list as 19, 29, 24, 33, and 23. All right, so if this one was a function, we can expect then that the other one is not a function, especially since I told you already that one was, but one's not. Now let's look at this. Just uh, give you just a second to look at that and see if we can figure out where the problem is. Keep in mind the definition is that for each x value there is only one y value. There is one item here in our x, um, in our x list that um, violates that rule. Can you see where that would be? That would be right here. This x, this 0.86 carats, has two different prices. That means that you have an x value is associated with two different y values. That violates the rule, so this is not a function. That's exactly what this looks like.